That was the bull's grin. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I hope that made it on. Mm-hmm. Hey! <laughs> so, with a new uh, heading chartered to Goldport, Indira and Serena, you both know the reputation of Goldport. Uh, people from Goldport are seen as racist and xenophobic and I human was first. I there. Exactly. Ooh. So you would, of course, be very wary of going directly to the city. But you do know. First of all, Goldport is just a vast metropolis. The docks are very large. There are places where you can go deliberately to have less chance of being looked into. There are more sort of... Uh, thieves docks there's straight up a town further up the coast um called traitor's cliff which is where a lot of thieves and pirates hang out and you could like stop there and then make your way into the city um you could you could just kind of find a place on the coast it's really up to you i was thinking i'd, I'd kind of infer that to endearer as the captain on uh, how you'd want to approach this you're not there yet just your plan Gentlemen, I think it's best that we don't enter loudly. You, uh... I think it's best we find a beach that's not inhabited. Make a bit of a trek into the city. Oh, uh... From what I know of Goldport, it is not exactly accommodating to people who are nope. outside of humans. I would imagine that goes doubly so for people like myself and Indira, who are so markedly different. Not kind to me. No, definitely not kind to me, Indira. Sorry about that. That is not your responsibility. It is the responsibility of the fools who have created that culture. It lacks beauty. You're probably right. We should... Um... Really? Though A beach somewhere? What if uh, some random scoundrel happens upon the boat? There are other places. There is... There is a town that often is often frequented by pirates and other never do wells mm, if i remember correctly too. yeah you uh you got your ship there if i remember correctly they Wait. they have they have respect for me among the pirates in goldport it was hard earned but it is one of the few places apart from tron that i am even vaguely known as well so I suppose I could call in a favor. That sounds cool. We we should go there. Maybe it's like a mini bilge wake, except rubbish, because it's on this side of the coast. But you know, it could be cool. <laughs> They'll love you there, Vale. Well, that, I get that a lot, actually. Okay. Undoubtedly. So, you're going to make your way off towards Trader's Cliff. Uh... I'm going to need you all to make your sailing rolls. The question is, Serena, what's your job going to be on the ship? Well, the only... I I have an ability in captaining, but um, in, it is Indira's ship. So... Mm -hmm. um, Her responsibility to beautify it. Well, literally, you uh, your intelligence is only plus one. You could be the ship's mechanic. It, your ship is damaged right now. It's straight up, it has missing HP. I mean, I would have... I would also be able to obviously swim underneath it and check for damage there and that sort of thing. So yeah. I and was, considering I was how your powers work, I could let you use charisma for this kind of thing because you're quite literally sure. like you're sticky shadow magic. You can the, fix yeah, things. Yeah, the thing together. I was thinking of was doing was that and a bit of because obviously I, I'm going to be in the water alongside every amount of time. I can sort of look out in front a bit, just see what's coming up, see if there are any rocks or anything else. Well, um, let's put it as a charisma-based engineer's position. Okay. Which apparently I cannot roll on. It's been a oh. long time since you've been on this ship. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not helped that as you start to travel, it's winter. The winter months are some of the hardest times to travel 
when you go out of the tropical waters of Tran, as you start going towards Goldport, the waters are incredibly choppy. They're not clear, beautiful, tropical Tranite waters anymore. They're black and murky and dirty. And Vale has a hard time navigating, in part distracted, looking to the skies, in part it being entirely new areas, and in part just the weather is horrible. Um, Indira knows exactly what to do to get yourselves around such difficult weather, and Gilwyn is getting better and better at being the main rigger on this ship, uh, you know, uh, more and more. Serena, uh, you don't manage to repair the ship much at all. Um, you stop it from getting any more damaged, which is really the jo your job in this kind of thing, because when you've got even slight damages in the hull, they can just splinter out of control. Um, you have to more uh, take some safety and not swim beside the ship when things get really rough yeah it does I would imagine she basically she spends half her time trying to do that and the rest of the time just lounging on the deck <laughs> so the storm does delay your your travel quite a bit um now luckily you actually weren't all that far away and getting out of the sort of islands around tron yeah, the weather's terrible, but there's also not much you have to avoid. There's not much in the way of water currents that can whisk your ship off course. Not much in the way of islands. Not much in the way, not much in the way of monsters. Just really ships. And ships are really going to sort of attack you in this kind of place. Because you're close enough that another ship might see, and that would cause so many more problems. So it takes you a bit longer than a week to um, get to Traitor's Cliff. Traitor's Cliff is quite literally a town built in, on, around a cliff. There's wooden struts that kind of stretch out from this kind of jab, uh, jagged and sharp cliff with a lighthouse on top. You can see as you're approaching it uh, in the night the lights that light up parts of the cliff in orange of the little ramshackle houses and sort of tunneled in cave buildings and things and the ships that some of which are being used like taverns and bars uh, bobbing uh, in the dark waters by the cliff's edge um, you could approach and dock up your vessel um, or you see the uh, wooden dock streets uh, very much like some parts of Bilgewake, uh, Vale, you know, sometimes you, you, you could just get off your ship and walk into a bar. It's right the fuck there. Um, there's no paperwork you need to sign, there's no anything. Um, a couple of, uh, gold portians that you see kind of leering at the ship the second Indira steps off with that very intimidating presence. They're like... Uh, welcome, uh, and kind of slink away instead of, you know, plundering your ship for anything that has worth. If you were, you know, an unsuspecting merchant who is not paying to uh, dock here for protection. So, welcome to Trader's Cliff. What's the uh, first order of business? It's late at night. Seems, uh... Here it takes fish to the homeless. Yeah. Seems a, a little quiet, you know, for a, uh, I suppose it'll do, you know, it, it's not bad. Yes, it is not exactly uh, the most bustling of places, but so serves its purpose. Well, it's, it's, it, for a town like this in night, it's busier than average. Of course, you'll think about it in build rate yeah, perspectives, but you know, it's got bustling taverns and brothels and, and things. Everything a sailor would want in the middle of the night. Um, but yeah. Anywhere right. you would recommend? I have not spent a great deal of time here, but there were one or two bars that are uh, a little bit more reputable than the others, yes. Although that's not saying much in a place like this. Mm. But yeah. if you are used to them, that sort of um, place, then I believe you will find you will be right at home there. Come, my, I will. I my will... trick was, Serena, I always used to find somewhere that had the red in the name the red halibut, the red pony, the red ship, and it would always be of that same 
low quality, but not abysmal quality, you know? <laughs> and now you end quality. up on... And now you end up on a ship called the Scarlet Dawn. The irony is not lost on me. But yes, I believe there was a... Oh, what was it? The Red Unicorn a bit further into town? Rather There's also a, uh, a a bar on the, the water called the Boots in Red. And by bar, I mean a brothel that serves drinks. <laughs> Serena was like hard, about, about to go <laughs> past that and then look, looks it up and says, Or oh, there was that place, although... That sounds good. Who's ever seen a unicorn in red? That's stupid. Um, yes, they are from... Yes, in fact, I think this would be rather entertaining. Shall we enter then? And sort of leave... <laughs> it was clear that Serena was about to say something and then re uh, having sort of got just about enough of Vale's personality to maybe realise that he's not that comfortable around women. And then was just stops herself because it sounds funny and is just going to lead him in. Alrighty, uh, Indira is off. Uh, you know, finding people to to feed. It probably won't take her very long, and she can find you. Um, we leave her. Gilwyn, do you do you come with them? Um, no, I'll stay back on the ship, just looking out to sea. Uh oh. Can that you give me a perception check, please? Because <laughs> I'm thinking about the night melody went overboard, actually. Ah, oh, rip melody. Sad. Melody. <laughs> That's better. Okay. Makes but first, Vale, uh, Serena leads you into this uh, building um, that kind of looks like a, you know, a tailor's from the outside. But when you go inside, you smell women in the air. And you can see what might be the inside of us. All the buildings in, in here, they're like kind of narrow. They're kind of like dug into the, the cliffside a little bit. So you can kind of look down. You can see uh, dancing girls and dancing boys and uh, sailors and thieves who are enjoying themselves. Uh, girls trying to catch, catch your eye and bring you off behind the uh, sequined doorways to uh, make a mark. Or two. And also, uh, beer. There's a bar. <laughs> like, Vale swaggers in. He's like, I'm in my element here. It's a pirate town. It's a pirate bar. This is going to be fair. And then you just hear, like, well, you might hear. You just hear, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and he like, he, like, freezes for, like, a couple seconds. And then you see him beeline for the bar. <laughs> he, like, At this point, you know, around people. Someone here is gonna be like, oh, Serena, and and you know, call out and yeah. and, and distract her. Um, yeah, and so so she would just she would just, um, I will be with them. They will come and find me in a moment, and then goes off to a um a table, conjures up her normal chair, takes a seat, and starts talking to someone. Yeah, the the showy displays of shadow magic always go down very well in Goldport. Yeah, because the kind of people here. <laughs> are devout enough to be intimidated, but also not devout enough to, you know, cause Start any real trouble about it. Yeah. Also, that. one of the things you would notice is that after she sits down, is it reasonable to assume I'm still within about 30 feet of the bar? Yeah. You could In take a case, seat within 30 feet of the bar. What I, what I would do, um, she sits down, she just puts her hand out, shadow leaks off it, almost forming a glove. Um, and then she takes her hand out, just leaving sort of this glove of shadow magic, which she gives a coin, sends it off to the bar, and then also casts message to the bartender, just uh, just like get, um, to buy alcohol. She's effectively just using mage hand and message combined yeah, yeah, to get yeah. a, well, her alcohol the without hell. getting up. <laughs> to how to be a lazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. she doesn't it's move very well on for land. Her to move on land, yeah. Yeah. So uh, you do that. The the bartender who is a um... he's probably he's pr she's probably done this to him before at least it, once, exactly so. yeah the the bartender uh, kind of like chuckles and will oh no okay yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll give the the a, a full frothy mug to uh, the hand and then we'll turn to Vale and be like All right then what's your poison um something uh, strong I think. We got rock got. 
rut gut. Yeah, it's like rot gut, but stronger. Okay, uh, I will have three of those, please. Shots. <laughs> Pours out a, a, a strong smelling liquid that you don't smell after a few seconds because it's blown out your sense of smell. Okay. <laughs> like a Jägermeister in gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite, uh... I do like Jägermeister. And this this will not poison me, yes? Technically, all alcohol is a poison, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me a constitution save real quick? Oof. <laughs> <laughs> he goes one after the other. Oof. Gunk, gunk. You lose all ability to legs. <laughs> uh, it all goes away very quickly. <clears throat> you manage to crawl your way, stumble to uh, Serena's table. Now, here's a question. Relaxation doesn't specify that I can only create one chair. Can I create a chair for him as well? Or more likely, like a lounger, so that he can just lie on it. I will say it's possible for you to essentially extend yours. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You can so only have I one, but you can. Attachment. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I, I would, I would definitely make it in such a way that Vale has to be uncomfortably close to Serena. Oh yes. <laughs> Vale's too gone. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're the one who's probably going to be more uncomfortable when you get vomited on. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> When Indira enters the bar, she would just come and like lift up Vale's head and then sit down and just put his head on her lap and start petting his hair. The poor thing. <laughs> He's got very fluffy hair. Yeah, I mean, Serena was probably already like stroking him absentmindedly while talking. Ah, so you've passed out your arms. So, I must admit, I am surprised to see how weak this one is to alcohol considering his professed time spent in a pirate city. He's normally better, but this is no ordinary bar, is it? Yes. I might have... Well, let's just say it was an amusing thing to play, amusing joke to play on him. All right, Gilwyn, you're not joining in in the festivities. Um, I'm you're looking a out, boy. You're looking out over the sea. <clears throat> and occasionally Vale said that he's seen birds following the ship, which is, you know, it's it happens. You're one, you're fishing. You're just you're just, you're just almost turfing up the, sh the the fish in the sea. Um But you see what he's talking about. You see a bird in gold. It doesn't look like a seabird at all. It looks more like a falcon. Um, land on the mast of a nearby ship, and then the, the more you look at it, Vale has an amulet that he got uh, from his mother's body that is a falcon in gold. It's one of those ones, it's not just a falcon with golden feathers, it is clearly resplendent, shining a little bit in the dark light of the tavern city. Ooh. I like that. Uh, it's the best way to describe it, really, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I'll just watch it. Mm -hmm. I was, I was going to do something, but I'll just watch it. Pulls out the gem gun. <laughs> wow! <laughs> It, uh, it lingers for a long while, several hours before going off above the town in, in the, the lighthouse sort of area above everything. Where there's still some buildings, but you know, it's not the city centre, as it were. Alright. What do, uh, what would you guys do as the night continues on? Recover. <laughs> No, you don't have a chance, mate. Oh, no. <laughs> Indira would probably have um, a few favorite women in this area. And uh, I'm sure that several of them would approach her. Yeah. And she would turn them away. Oh. You also have your friend, uh, 
your who you got the ship from lives here. Um, not here. Yeah, he's here. not my friend. <laughs> Colloquial term. Um, <laughs> he's a begrudging acquaintance that we do nice things for each other, also <laughs> begrudgingly. So a friend, right? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, that that's fair. Uh, you can kind of like enjoy your drink. Um, there definitely would be, as you described, uh, girls here who who were interested in the, all three of you, um, but are turned away. Serena would look a little bit disappointed when Indira turns them away, <laughs> uh, and and does spend a bit of time um, flirting with some of the men as well. But um, she would ultimately be keeping a close eye on Vale. Mm -hmm. And eventually the night will come to a bit an, an, an end. You can drag Vale back to the ship. I feel like Indira just like grabs one of each of his hands and like <laughs> <laughs> slings like, him over her back and he's just like dragging him. Yeah, because he's way <laughs> taller than you. Yeah. Vale <laughs> makes some inappropriate comments. <laughs> like, like what? What did like he what? say? Yeah. <laughs> You're so strong. I wonder what you could do if, you know, we... I've never... A lot of amazing things, Phil. Tell me that's your parrying dagger. <laughs> you parrying dagger's uh, on, his, on his wrist, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, sling him back to his room. Uh, is, would Gil still be like on the deck to see <laughs> Vale get dragged in <laughs> several oh hours later? God. <laughs> that was all him. He was, was... like that when I showed up. <laughs> <laughs> I believe he had a few shots at the bar and then staggered his way back over to me. I didn't have a few shots. I had 15. <laughs> Fifteen, ah, uh, you rot. If they still the sell the same thing, I believe it was rot got they sell at that place. No, no, it it was rot gut. Yes. You're and gonna be I, hurting tomorrow. It was very, <laughs> very, very. I thought about it too much. Where's the edge of the boat? Here, Vale, I'll help you. So she she takes Vale away as best she can. Be it's being a bit difficult, and like sort of gives um, Indira the eyes and sort of motions at Gil. She would she would absolutely sidle up next to him and kind of like lean and be like, "Hop for your thoughts." It's a very romantic scene with Vale in the background. <laughs> Serena sort of rubbing his back and sighing, clearly not wanting to do this. Is that to me or to Vale? It's to you. you. Uh, uh, is the bed still there? Oh, it, it left. Flew off, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, I was just having some more downtime, thinking about a friend we. Uh, we don't see anymore. Would you like to? I've... <laughs> We've made attempts to. Well, you didn't have me. Yeah, I guess. Just tell me the coordinates. Well, if we knew the, the location, we'd have gone already. That's the, that's the issue. We don't know where she is. We should be looking for leads while we're here. We spent months looking. We didn't spend forever. That's because we did other things. We're doing other things. Well, when we leave here, if it makes you happy, I would very much like to help you find your friend. I don't know. I don't know if it's possible. Well, have you exhausted every option? I mean, you didn't have a boat. 
You didn't have a captain? You didn't I mean, have a fucking mermaid? It's not like we were looking under under cups and in alleys. We were we were searching quite a a large portion of the Aviscare for her. That is why why he got in such debt for boats. Oh my god. Uh, you should just focus on I think what I can taste the them. rot. Oh, my gut. Vale, would you like me to cast water breathing on you so you don't choke on your own vomit? Serena laughs at that <laughs> quite loudly. You, you hear like silence from him and weakly you hear, yes, please. <laughs> I will cast water breathing on Vale <laughs> so he does not choke on his own vomit. Gross. I'm I'm going to bed, and he like straightens up from the edge and just <laughs> straight down, just <laughs> gunk. You know my tail does not make picking someone like you up easily. I guess I'll have to drag him. You two carry on. Starts dragging him down. There's I'm buckets in storage. <laughs> yes, I know. I'll find one. <laughs> And as she as she um as she goes below deck, um you you hear a familiar message in your mind, Indira, that just sa- it just says, "I expect some repayment for this." And you also hear the bumping of Vale hitting every step on the way down. And a pause, and then more bumping as you go down the next. Uh, I can send a message back, right? Mm-hmm. No, message is one way. I believe. Uh... Is sending that's yeah, message. Oh, yeah, well, message, message is just one way. Message is two way, sending is one way. They're both, they're yeah. both two way. Oh, yeah, it can reply in a whisper. Both, I sorry, both, I was both two way. I was, I, I forgot that message can do that as well. Yeah, you can reply. Uh, it comes back, Tally Serena, and then uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you swear you get another message that's just like you get a message of silence. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Indira will look directly in Gil's eyes, like... Well, you'll have to, like, climb on the other side of the ship, because I'm looking out. (laughs) Turn his head. On the cheeks. She would, actually. Like, grab it, grab your chin, Hmm? and point your face at herself, and say, how can I? How can I make you happy? Uh, get me some of that rock gut. It's done. And she would saunter off to the bar. I'll have another perusal for that falcon. Give me another perception. It's staring at you from the mast. <laughs> it grabs me right by behind face. you. <laughs> you actually can kind of see, it seems to leave a little bit of a trail in its wake. A little bit of gold in the air. It's up atop the lighthouse, at the top of the town. Is it looking this way? Too far away to see at this point. Okay, okay. You can just see it up there. But it was looking back the whole time you saw it before. It was watching you, watching it, watching you. I'll grin as I think it's following Vale. Dura comes yeah. back with brown bottle. You know, I have way better drink than this. Yeah, but I want to see if it does to me what it did to him. All right. And she, like, kind of indicates her quarters. She's just like, this way. I, like, scratch my head and be like, all right. She's all cups in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're going in. Yeah, obviously, Gilwin. Uh, she would sit down at a table and pour some in a stein for him and some in a stein for herself. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is this does not smell like a stein drink. I haven't a funnel, so we're drinking it from steins. You don't have smaller glasses. She just takes a drink. (laughs) 
Uh, I'll give it a whiff. You smell Sin. a lot, and then very little. <laughs> <laughs> the harp suits you, by the way. It sounds good. And I'll, like, take a tiny, tiny little sip, just to, <laughs> just to gauge the alcohol. Yeah, you're, you're good. It's when you drink more, I'll make you make rolls. <laughs> yeah, it sounds good. Thank you very much for that. Play me something. Like what? Whatever's in your heart, Gil. Uh Okay. I'll play I'll play the I'll play the song about um Did I write one from I did write one for Melody. You did write it's one for Melody. I don't remember his name, though. My favourite Melody. Yeah. Oh. oh. I remember now, yeah. It sounds nice on a harp, actually, probably. Yeah. She played a harp, didn't she? A little one? Yeah. It was a harp. Very fitting. Uh, that song was about the friend that we lost. We actually lost two friends, but one of them was more important than the other. <laughs> also, <laughs> also, can I just point out the phrasing lost? In this case, it is literally lost. Not yeah. like... Yeah. <laughs> Gone. Yeah. She's very dear to you. She is. She's like a... Like a sister. Oof, Genuinely. Like you're about to get cucked there by, by non-existent best girl. <laughs> We'll find her. I know I'm, it. I I'm know sure we will. will. I'll help you. And it will make you happy. Mm -hmm. I'll take like a proper swig this time. Give me a constitution roll. You have advantage because you're a drinker. Hell yeah. Uh, constitution save. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I'm just Garbo. Yep, you're fine. <laughs> you can handle it. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is not that bad. I yeah, I don't know what came over him. He's normally much better. Hey, wait, I've not seen an Indira constitution. Change. She's not been drinking that much yet. I would take a drink when he took a drink. Give me I a constitution save. Sure. You don't have advantage. Oh no! Well, okay. You're also you're also doing okay. It's I like, saw the eight and was like, oh dear. And then, of course, barbarian. Bar -bar. <laughs> <sighs> Tastes like shit, but it's not that bad. Tastes like shit, but it feels wonderful. <laughs> very warm. Hmm. It's very cold. You've gone from Tran to Goldport in winter. It's actually you you pass like little bits of ice on the way in. And see this that I've got on? That's keeping me nice and warm. This was made by another friend. It's like a... It's like a... Uh, was it a white yeti? It's a yeti fur. Yeti armor. fur, like, yeah. cut. Uh, she would touch it. She would it's... run her hands on your chest and touch it's, it. And it's like... one of those furs that's, like, quite coarse. And it's not entirely pleasant to run your hands through. But I think Indira is one of those person who would appreciate sort of the texture in a way. This was Vales, and we did a little swapsy. I actually can't remember what I gave him. The armor he's wearing now. I should like to try it on. Mm, but then I'd be cold. I will keep you warm. <laughs> she scoots the glass closer to him. My glass? Yeah. Yeah, all right. I'll take it off. Yeah, and pass you it. like the coat part, which of course would swaddle up in Dira, <laughs> being a <laughs> tiny lady. It's like oh, down yeah, to her true. knees, and she's like, "How do I look?" It is warm. Uh, you look like a fucking idiot. It does not fit you. She takes it off and throws it at him. 
Just like you look like an idiot. It probably has because it's quite a heavy. Coat. It's it's a heavy <laughs> coat. It's got like it's made of the like the yeti hide. It's not just the fur. It's it's heavy. It's a chonker of a coat. Well, I hope you got what you wanted, and I put it back on. And I'll have another drink. I'll have another drink. Can you give me a constitution save? Yes, I can. And if Dura, you're going to match him, you can also give me a constitution save. Yeah, alright. Uh, one less this time. You're both fine. I mean, you're drunk, but fine drunk. Capable drunk. Yeah. You know, it would be really awful having to listen to him moan and vomit all night. You can stay up here. No funny business. She's got a big bed. All right, fine. You've persuaded me. She's very excited. <laughs> but I don't know if you can tell. I don't know. She like, it. she's maybe like raising it to her lips, raising the stein to her lips and then takes pause and then drinks and just maintains eye contact. I like take my boots off with my feet. Like, yeah. Pop. Like a real man who bends down to take off their boots. <laughs> Not men. <laughs> uh, and I will, I will take another drink as well. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Oh dear. <laughs> At that point, the wave hits you. <laughs> you you haven't completely lost your ability to legs, but you're definitely completely gazeboed at this point. I'll stand up and be like. Uh -oh. Okay, easy there, and she'll like she'll like brace you by the elbows, and uh, and like set you on the bed, and lay you down, and uh, she'll lay down next to you and fall asleep, just brushing your fingers or brushing her fingers through your hair. Brushing your <sighs> fingers with her hair. <laughs> <laughs> it was like that's the weirdest image. It was like. <laughs> My knees turn into floppy cocks, and the rest of my legs turn into hard ones. I couldn't. I can't stand. You're, you're in bed now. You're fine. I got you. Where does Serena sleep? Wherever Serena wants. <laughs> Water bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's a fish, isn't she? A little bit. A little bit of a fish. Why do you know her? Why do you, uh, know, why do you know fish? I know all the fish. I know all of them. And your, you feed your friends to the poor? That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's the circle of life, Gil. Yeah. Are you going to feed Vale to somebody? There's not I much meat. I not feed Vale to anyone. Oh, so there's a hierarchy. Fish and veil. <laughs> Does Serena go above or below veil? I'm not going to rank you. I didn't rank. I am above everybody. I'm asking you to rank Serena and veil. Serena's above veil. <laughs> <laughs> do you think they will do the hibbity dibbity? Not tonight, that's for sure. Is there a chance? At some point, if Serena wills it, it will happen. If Serena wills it? She might not like him. She doesn't like him right now, it's obvious. Most people don't like Vale. But he's that's the best. Shame. I like Vale very much. You like Vale? Not like I like you. Mm. 
You should. I don't. I'm going to sleep now. Okay. I'll like pat her thigh. <laughs> and like turn over. <laughs> you Night. go to bed. Yeah, we fall asleep. You'll wake up in the morning feeling garbage. Uh, aside from Serena. <laughs> yeah. Even in Dira, just a little. Good constitution. You had good today. constitution. You were drinking rock gut. <laughs> That's true. You're gonna have a bad morning no matter what. It's coming out one way or the other. <laughs> um, but uh, you wake up feeling terrible, but also you're not in a rush. You can you can lax a day easily. You know, get up and about your business. This town it being a nightlife thieving den actually has a very quiet morning composed to compared to most towns in the world where there's a lot of morning business ain't no one in this town no no businesses are, are awake awake at dawn here not not a one um aside from elves maybe if there was an elven business um so you got a lot of time to work out what you want to do in general gil would have woken up to breakfast where Ooh. where uh indira once had been I it's pull it. I pull the duvet. Let's go, Dad. Eggs and sausages spill onto the bed. Uh, I'll chow down. Excuse me. On the breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and like, pop my boots back on, and go look for Vale. Vale, what are you doing this fine morning? You find him. <laughs> He's up very early, leaning over the edge of the boat, breathing in the sea breeze. And, he, like, his skin tone is kind of golden, right? But you know how copper oxidizes? Yeah. He's got a bit of a green tint. A bit, going a bit on of green. A bit of green. A little bit of uh, verdigree. <laughs> Hi. Uh, that stuff that you drank actually kind of a bastard. Oh, yeah, it, it goes straight to the legs. No? <laughs> yeah, it does. Like That's why Serena was fine. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't got any legs. <laughs> you know, like I, I had three shots and that was it. My legs were... Well, <laughs> gone. You said 15 the other night. I... Did you times by five again? <laughs> I don't recall. You know how you do that when you're drunk. I don't recall saying that, so, <laughs> uh, you know. Oh, I like pat him on the shoulder as I say that. Guess what I saw last night? Is it going to be something disgusting? Nope. Uh, I like rub my eyes and look out to the sea with him. <sighs> we might see it today, so keep an eye out. Actually, and I like, I like scoop up the amulet. I guess that he's wearing. Mm -hmm. I saw one of these flying about. An eagle. I didn't think they were particularly common in these parts, but why? It was it was it was like a golden one. A golden eagle. That is a variety. Yes, you you know they a little bit more golden colored than the others. Well, are you not are you not surprised by this? Well, I mean, you, you saw an eagle, yes. But I get an eagle, a falcon. I'm not really sure. Yes. It was a. It was gold. <laughs> Do you, what sort of gold? You know, because because there is a variety of eagle that is. It it looks more golden, but gold, gold. Like this gold. Go, like gold. 
You know how I said gold? Three gold to go? It's like gold, like that gold. Are you sure? No, it, no, it was yes, it was gold. <laughs> I looked at it for like two hours. You uh do you know what this is? Nope, that's why I'm telling you. Well, um it's uh It is an eagle called Berenthor. Uh, legends say that it is the familiar of the sun god. Um, he functions sort of uh, as a scout for Omanator or Lathander. A scout? Yes. Scout and what? So, so the priests say. But uh, maybe it was... Um, some other form of magical creature? Yeah. How many other types of golden beds are there flying around in the sky? Vale's gonna straighten up. Like, with a hand up. And where did you see it? Just a around us. Well, that is really vague. Really good job, Gilwin. Well done. Like, it flew and then wow, landed it, on a Shh, eek. Shh. Landed on that lighthouse over there. It was pretty far away, so I couldn't really see it. But okay. Look. Oh. Gil, uh, Vale's gonna look. I have a look around. Give now. me a perception check. Do you have a spyglass? I mean, he has navigators' tools. Is that part of it? A spyglass is like a thousand gold, so you 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 know if you have a spyglass oh, yeah, or yeah, not. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um. You kind of follow his lackadaisical pointing. Uh, kind of is there, and then it was there, and then it was up there. And you actually do see on the very tip of the lighthouse on the top a little glint of gold. It's too far away to see any detail, but just as if something golden is catching the light up there. I need to go. And And yeah, it was just... Well, I can't really point directly. It, it was in the sky. It's a fucking bed. It was. <laughs> it's up there. I'm sure it is. I saw something. I need to go now. Bell's gonna start running. Like you see him. Like uh, he slows down and wretches a bit as he forces his. Oh, oh god. And then he like staggers up and continues off in that direction of the lighthouse. I like yell for the two ladies. Indira appears. <laughs> yeah, Serena's Serena's head probably <laughs> pops up like beside in the sea beside the boat. Uh, Vale took off. He saw a bed he liked, so let's go. <laughs> 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 and then do you start running? So, so one of the so one of those in the in the bar yesterday did catch his eye after all. Then a literal <laughs> bed. Yeah, she would have said. She would have said. Indira would have been like, "Go, Vale." <laughs> <laughs> all right and this is the perfect place to leave off today and take back up next week so why don't we start our circle of shame with the sun elf himself neil that was why good. how are you yeah I like well, that. occasionally yeah. i do good things that was good uh what's up good what's going words. on my word Hi. salad is sometimes high tip. Hi, I'm Neil. You can find me on Twitter at Naghite or on the Discord at Naghite. On Twitter, though, it's got an underscore because someone stole my name. I know, right? Um, please join the Discord. It's good fun. Uh, there's lots of good conversations going on there about God knows what. Um, and if you have any questions about Yavaskir, please at me on the Discord or on Twitter and ask because I know quite a lot about Yavaskir uh, and it occurs to me like I'm terrified of the sort of playing in another setting because I have no idea whereas this is all familiar yep I think that's it thanks for all the butts Midori mm, we, had, we had good butts today <laughs> Dean speaking of good butts who are Hello. you how are you I'm Where can Dean we find you no one knows what my butt was like. You I described it in detail earlier, actually, <laughs> off before the stream. So you know what? Um, 
Dean Cutsforth. Well, my camera's over here now. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to just looking up. Nice job. Hey, <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, Dean Cutsforth on Spotify, iTunes, Bandcamp, all that good stuff. You'll find my first album, Revelry Remedy. Ten songs. Pretty good. I'm happy with them. Uh, free on most places. Oh, iTunes is like seven ninety nine. Um, you right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Next up is why is this always a shit show? Ian, <laughs> new character. I am Ian. AKA always Arnie. wanted to play a mermaid princess. Yeah, <laughs> finally got to play a mermaid princess. There's been like. Four, three or four times Ian's been like can I play a mermaid and I've been like it doesn't really make sense <laughs> uh, and now I finally do and she's immediately hated by half the party but <laughs> also be, uh, half the party she's royalty yeah but yeah who cares about those peasants um, <laughs> I am Arvine on discord twitter on twitter and Trit, twitch it's got a triple E in the middle because they get people stole Arvine um at me, I'm next most experienced with Yara Skier after um, Neil, so you can ask me about that as well. Also, at me about anime. Of that, um, support Ollie on Patreon if you want to hear more of me and Neil making asses of ourselves. Um, we are in the Monday um, podcast game, where on the most recent thing, we just killed a big bad evil guy. So next week is a downtime. Is I, 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 I was about to say next week is a downtime episode. Who knows what Ollie is going to do to us? But yeah, it's good stuff to listen to. So check it out. Oh, he's like, welcome to your retirement. <laughs> Someone we don't want to see retire for a long time. Zero Doxy. I'm a zero pleasure Doxy. to play with. Who are no, you? What do you do? I I'm a disgusting butt girl with a fart gun. And I, what I want you to do for me is follow these guys because they're the best. Do that stuff. Basically, right. follow Dean and Ollie. Yeah, we're the ones who do things. We're the Oof. artists. And I'm Ollie, if you're here already. Uh, you can enjoy this show here at this time. Now going to be a four hour banger most weeks. Um, there's also the other Yavaskia show on Sundays at midnight GMT, which is in a completely other part of the world uh, doing completely different stuff. And they're the good guys. This, these are the uh, guys. They're the good guys. <laughs> I think the um, evil quotient just went up a bit in this party as well. So, um, And like Ian said, for $5 or more on Patreon, you can listen to my Monday game, which is evil guys, good guys, neutral mercenary guys. Uh, is basically the balance, which is kind of funny here. It just kind of ended up that way. Um, there's always uh, in the Monday game. There's always it, it seems to be ra party members who cause random chaos, but are ultimately reasonable people. <laughs> yeah. Shame we don't have any of them here. Um, <laughs> you can follow me on Twitter for all the updates about things and the Discord down below. Uh, show support by Patreon. You can help out that way. I do art streams or just other streams during the week at 9 p.m. Uh, GMT. And that's about it. I'm hopefully going to be doing some illustrations about some Yavaskir stuff, including drawing Ian's character in the Monday game soon. All right. See noise. you later. Noise. 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 Noise.